Freenet generally has not really been uh, present too much in North America. It's a bit of a different market to Europe. The core business is based in Western Europe and, and around the rest of the world. But uh, So my background is, is purely the last eight years uh, building a network uh, successfully in the US. So I've been brought in to really look at Shore Yield, which is the network that Freenet own, um, and uh, expand what we're doing uh, vertical-wise and also uh, in the geos out there so us obviously is a very big market so. but also freenet i've discovered has a huge amount of products internally uh, we have na dash which is a, a tracking platform in the has offers uh, everflow type of uh, manner so we also have any overwatch which is a fraud management tool which allows our partners to to look after their traffic in the way that they really want to um, and also we have internal products which we're building um, which will allow us to be the advertiser in, a, in the marketplace over there which is obviously very important for us. Uh, it's really expanding also the minds of the, the publisher managers, the advertiser managers we have to, to discuss things that are outside of the core business of Freenet uh, and really open up the opportunities that we have traffic wise and advertiser wise in, in the new, uh, American market because we really haven't um, expanded there as much as we want to so it gives us a real opportunity to make um, good strides over there. So paper call is a big area in the US that isn't really something that, that happens in uh, in the, the Western European market or anywhere outside the US. It's not something we're really focusing on now but that's an opportunity down the road. Um, there's also the way people do business, a little bit more fluid, um, you know it's a different culture, the people over there are slightly different. Um, but uh, there's, uh, and I guess there's less um, I mean, the way to put it really in, in uh, the German mentality is, is exceptional in terms of the way they, they do business and there's a lot to be learned. But it's also trying to uh, bring in some of the different practices in the US market, um, do things in a slightly different way, but be a bit more flexible, be, be able to react quickly um, and uh, just introduce uh, Freenet, which is a huge brand uh, across the globe, but really, really well known in, in Europe. Um, and educate people out there much more to what we are capable of doing and providing for them. Uh, a long time ago, the, the affiliate world for US uh, mobile subscription really closed down. Um, there seems to be some movement now to, to see that changing. So we're trying to reach out, talk to the right people. You know, uh, with the Overwatch product and with the Dash product, we, we really have the ability to make them feel more comfortable and, and uh, secure in what we're doing. Uh, and it'll take a little while to open up, but we're starting to have conversations and learn a bit more about the landscape and what's possible over there.